This is the Boca Plus Trance. This is the drop point version. It's designed by Chad Los Banos. This has a full flat ground Oz8 blade. Um, uh, the blade is two and three quarter inches. Overall, it's six and a quarter inches, and it's very thin. Uh, it's light as well at 3.2 ounces. I mean, I haven't weighed it myself, but to me, it feels lighter than that. It feels like it's under three ounces. But for such a thin knife, it it fits in the hand so well. Uh, I've mentioned this knife in a, in a previous video for John Wayne Colt 45, and it's you know I I listed this as my favourite tactical knife. It's also probably my favourite EDC knife. First off, tip up or tip down carry, right side only, but that's all I need. I only carry it in the right pocket. This thing is thin. I mean, I forget it's there, but when I need it, it just feels perfect for every task I can imagine. And I think as a defensive blade, uh, this is a very good option. Uh, I know a lot of people prefer to have a large knife for, you know, defensive and tactical purposes, but I think having something small like this uh, that deploys quickly and you can manipulate well is a great option. Uh, we've got jimping here on the back of the handle and up onto the back of the blade. We have a textured FRN scale and then this lovely drilled steel frame lock with the four circular cutouts. Bit of a uh, Chad Los Banos design that he has going on. He also has that on the Boca Plus Karam bit that I have. Um, and you know, this thing to me is the perfect EDC. I know it hasn't got S30V or VG10 blade, uh, VG10 blade, but that helps keep the price down. Uh, I picked this up in the UK for £40. I'm sure over here in Canada or in the US you can probably get this for around $30, maybe $35. Um, and I just think one of the, the key aspects in my mind for an EDC blade is something that I'm not afraid to use. If I had something super expensive, super posh, I think I'd be too scared to actually put it to the tasks it was designed for and it would just end up sitting in a box and being fondled every so often which does happen with a couple of my knives um, price point aside I mean even this this thing was you know even if it cost a lot more uh, I think the design of it is fantastic slim good length full flat ground which in my opinion you can't beat for a uh, for an everyday knife uh, something you're going to be using for a variety of things. Uh, food prep especially. I love this thing for food prep. I'll eat, I eat twice as many apples as I used to just because I enjoy cutting them up with this thing. It's an absolutely fantastic knife. So that's my that's my response. Uh, best of luck to everyone else who enters. Um, fingers crossed I'll win. Would be very nice. Um, and yeah. Have a good one.